welcome to this edition of a 10 minute talk. Today we're going to be talking about social media advertising, specifically the difference between boosting on Facebook and running traditional advertising through Facebook. So let's get started. First of all, my name is Janine Holcomb. I am the Marketing and Communications Director at the beautiful historic Egyptian Theater in downtown DeKalb, and that's how you can contact me, janine at egyptiantheater.org. So now let's get into why social media advertising works and why you should incorporate that into your marketing strategy. First of all, it's very flexible with your audience, very flexible time frame, and a very flexible budget. Now what do I mean by those things being very flexible? Say you have different audiences you want to talk to. The Egyptian Theater is a great example. I can speak to audiences that might come to a Roy Orbison show, might come to a Rocky Horror Picture show, might come to a classic movie, ghost tour. All of those are different audiences, and Facebook allows you to adjust those audiences in a very flexible manner. So even if you don't have as wide of a scope as we do here, you could be talking to people who know your organization, people who don't know your organization, existing donors, and you can target those audiences. So again, very flexible. Same with the flexible time frame. We run ads here that last a week, five days, a month, two months. You can choose how long you want these advertisements to run. And say you have a time frame, like we ran an ad for a ghost tour. Now say the ghost tour has sold out and I still have $25 that's running for the rest of the week. I can stop that ad, I can stop that boost right where it is because we've already hit our goal and I don't need to spend those unnecessary marketing dollars now. And as a flexible budget, again, you can just stop an ad where you want and you can start as small as five bucks when you start boosting ads. So a really great way to start because it has so much flexibility when you're advertising on Facebook. So what's the difference between a Facebook boost and a Facebook ad? I don't think I'm going to be able to get into the really nitty gritty, especially of Facebook ads in this 10 minute talk, but please reach out to me after you hear this if you have any other questions and I can help you further. So let's just go with some of the basics. A boost is you're taking a post that already exists on your timeline, so something that's already showing in your newsfeed to people who follow your page, and you're just putting money behind it. You're telling it the audience, where you want to be advertised to, uh, and just giving it some parameters to exist within, but it does exist on your timeline. You get to choose your audience, and again, you get to choose that budget and how long it runs. Now a Facebook ad has a lot of the same things in the sense of you get to choose an audience and your budget and your timeline, or time frame rather, however you get to choose an objective, which is really important. Uh, I will go into an example later where the objective is I want this ad to convert to page follows. Or you could say I want this ad to convert to donations. I want this ad to convert to traffic on our website. I want this ad to be brand awareness. So you have a lot more ability to get really niche with how you want your ad to benefit your organization. So you get to have a more targeted audience. You can even upload an e-blast or an e-list rather of uh, email subscribers and see if they have that email listed on your Facebook page. Again, I'm not going to be able to get into every nitty gritty in 10 minutes. But YouTube and Google is a great asset for this. So if you're like, okay, Janine's giving me the confidence to at least explore this realm, go to YouTube, go to Google. It knows everything. There's people on there that know way more than me and can really help you figure out how to get those really targeted audience. And again, an ad isn't going to show in your timeline. Uh, so this is a great concept if you're wanting to do page likes and you don't want to have your, con your timeline flooded with like our page, like our page, like our page. So it exists in a realm where people are still going to see it and you're going to tell this ad what type of people you want to see it, but you're not going to bombard your already existing audience with an advertisement. So we're going to do some walkthroughs of how you do this, what it looks like, and we'll start with a boost. So a great way to use this would be for Give to Cobb County. Uh, you can see we made this post on February 6th saying we're three months out and you see that nice little blue square saying boost post. So let's do a little walkthrough of what a boosting on your post looks like. So I'm going to take you right to our page here. Um, here's an example of we just announced a new date today uh, for our one touring show that had to be moved obviously because of COVID. If I were to click on boost post, 
It's going to take me to this page, and here is where you set the parameters of what you want your boost to do. Most of these things can be done in five, 10 minutes. So you can choose a button. If you say you want it to be learn more, or shop now, or sign up, buy tickets, depending on what that boost or that post is about, if it's a, hey, we're launching a newsletter, choose sign up, and then you can choose exactly where that button takes you as well as your audience. So typically, I choose a specific audience uh, based on, like if it was for our Booze and Spirits tours, I'm gonna choose an audience that likes ghosts, that likes ghost adventures, that likes paranormal, and all of these things that Facebook will allow you to do. But say I just wanted to do something for people who like our page. I can advertise that too, especially that is beneficial when doing fundraising. We have found here that people who already interact with us, already know who we are, are more likely to give. Thus, you can advertise just to those people. Then you can set your date when you want it to run and how much you want to spend, and it'll give you an estimate of how many people you're going to reach per day. General uh, rule is $1 per day. If you go any less than that, so say I want to advertise $5 for 10 days, Facebook won't allow that. So just know that if you want to run a 10-day ad, you got to spend 10 bucks. And then you just say boost post now, and that'll take you there. So pretty easy. Again, Facebook, YouTube, Google will walk you through in a much uh, longer method than I have in 10 minutes. Ads, very nitty gritty. Uh, so this is an example of an ad. It looks like something that would be on our Facebook page. It looks like it could be on our timeline. But just look at the amount of engagements. We have over 1,500 likes or interactions, 180 shares, 132 comments, because this ad has been running for a month. But you haven't been seeing it on our news feed because you'd get sick of it. So this is a great example of your um, trying to just get people to like your page. That's exactly what this campaign is. We want more people to like our page. We have a bigger, bigger audience to talk to. A great um, objective for this ad. Now I'm going to take you to the ads page, and it's going to be intimidating, but I promise you, you'll be able to figure it out. Sadly, not in the time I have allotted for this, but it really you can get really, really niche and really, really specific with your advertising here. So let's take it to our expansion reach. So when I'm in here, I'm able to tell it, again, I want this ad to convert to people liking our page. And I've set a budget of $1,500 uh, over the lifetime of it. And then I can look and see how well this ad has been performing. Um, for example, over the lifetime of this ad, well, this is just for the past week, let's go to lifetime, I can see that we've had almost 200,000 impressions, and this has ended up converting to almost 1,400 page likes. So that's almost a dollar per like. Really great. Uh, you know at least you're not throwing money in a barrel going, I hope it's doing something. I hope I didn't just light it on fire. Really gives you the specifics. And again, I maybe in another video can go in further in depth here. But start with a page like campaign. You can start with a budget of 100 bucks. That could convert to 100 likes. And it'll tell you if you're performing above average, at average, um, and just let you know how your ad is performing. So you can see our quality ranking. We're at an average, an above average, and an average conversion rating. So that's good. I'm not mad at that. Um, it is. It's an intimidating thing. But once you really understand, um, and boosting is a great place to start, what the tool of Facebook can do for your marketing, it's pretty exponential how far you can take this. And once you get that engagement and people start liking your page and starting reacting with you more, you're just going to keep that momentum going. So I know it's a lot, I know it's really quick, and I know I can't really get into the weeds of how that walkthrough of creating an ad, but it's fantastic. Use YouTube, use Google, have fun with it, and like I said, boosting is the easiest place to start when you're starting Facebook advertising. So start there, start small, see how that works, see how your performance is, see if your dollars get spent, and then venture into Facebook advertising. And again, use resources like Google, like YouTube, like Facebook Business Manager. They'll answer questions for you too. So thank you for this brief and dense topic, <laughs> but I know it's intimidating, but I promise you once you get your feet wet, 
you will be able to grow your Facebook audience, use that as a marketing tool, take that uh, event you have, that donation drive, whatever it is, give to Cal County, great time to start exploring Facebook boosting. So thank you so much for your time. Again, you can reach me right there at my email, and I'll see you on the next 10-minute talk.